What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I still cannot believe that I'm sitting here today filming a video about me being pregnant. I just, it's just mind blowing, okay? If you didn't see my last video, it was a fun little teaser to my pregnancy announcement here on YouTube. And in today's video, I just wanted to kind of talk about how I found out I'm pregnant, kind of my first signs and symptoms, did I have any? and just like what the heck's going on, right? So to start out, today is Thursday, May 9th, and I'm exactly 13 weeks pregnant. So I'm filming this before I've even announced to you guys that I'm pregnant, okay? I've planned to announce on Mother's Day, which is May 12th. I'm officially into my second trimester, which is freaking nuts but I wanted to wait until I felt comfortable and safe announcing that and this is the time where I feel like it's about time to tell you guys what's really been going on in my life, right? So I really just wanna start with how I even found out I was pregnant. So if you follow me on Instagram, I was having some weird digestion issues. Like I was either going to the bathroom too much or I wasn't going to the bathroom enough and there was kind of a lot of things that I was trying to figure out what was going on with my body. I am somebody who's super in tune with my body. I feel like that's almost kind of part of my job to like listen to my body, know how far to push myself, what I should be eating it, feeding it, and all of that. So to have something off in my body and just not feel right, I was like, hmm, like what's going on? So I decided to cut out gluten and dairy for just a little bit, see if that would help, because I was trying to figure out what symptoms I was having matched with, maybe it was some food intolerances, food sensitivities that would just completely like shut down my digestive system. So, if you followed me on Instagram, you saw that whole shebang and I shut up about my digestion issues real quick. That is because I found out I was pregnant. So I was like, shoot, I can't address the real issue at hand, which is I'm just growing a freaking baby in my stomach. But initially, so because I was having all of those weird digestion problems, Darian one day that I was just kind of super sick, like I was on the toilet all day, I could not even get off, which now, in hindsight, I realized I had over easy eggs, which is where like the egg yolk isn't cooked. When you're pregnant, you're not supposed to eat raw, runny eggs because you can get salmonella and get food poisoning and be sick on the toilet all day. That's what happened to me. So, I was super sick that day though. I literally could not get off the toilet and Darian on a whim was like, I'm gonna go buy you a pregnancy test. And I was like, okay, bro, do it. That's not what this is. This is food poisoning. Well. So he got me a pregnancy test and I was so chill about it. Like I was so sure I wasn't pregnant. I was like, this is stupid. Like, but I took the test and it was positive. But being Brittany, being me, I sat there and I was like, I just had my period. There is no way I am pregnant. Like no way, Jose, like this is stupid. So I think I took the test like March 12th, which was a Tuesday or something. And then it took me seriously till Saturday until I was like, shoot, I might actually be pregnant. I had gone to my sister-in-law's house because my mom was visiting. So we were just kind of hanging out and I like told them about my digestion issues. And honestly, my sister-in-law was like, you know, your hormones get really weird when you're pregnant. So maybe, you, maybe you're pregnant. And I was like, oh my gosh, it like clicked in my head. I was like, she didn't even know I took a pregnancy test that was positive and she just said that it was pregnancy. So I was like, I feel like that's God telling me you're pregnant, Brittany. So I was like, great. So I went home, Darian was working this whole day. So this was like a day to myself to kind of like come to Brittany. I think I might be pregnant, like internalize it really. Cause I really had to shut the door on it. Like it was not happening. I'm not pregnant. That sticks a lie. Which now I'm like, I'm pretty sure pregnancy tests are like almost always right. But so I ended up going back to Walmart where I took three more pregnancy tests. You guys, I took three. I was like, I have no idea if this is real. Like I bought the expensive type. I bought the cheap type. I bought all of them. I was like, I need to pee on as many sticks as possible. I need to do every method where you dip it. I need to do the, the one where you freaking pee on the stick. I was like, y'all, we trying these pregnancy tests up in here today. I need to know if I'm pregnant or if I'm not. So I did all the tests and instantly they were positive, you guys. I was like, shoot, not only am I pregnant, but I'm hecka pregnant because them things, the second the pee hit the stick, it was like, you pregnant, Britt. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm pregnant. So that is how I officially found out I was pregnant. <sighs> my life changed, you guys. So I went back to the store after I got the pregnancy test and I got 
like little goodies to surprise Darian. I bought a onesie, moccasins, I bought a little box to put the pee sticks in, and I had already bought some like children's books, which I have, which I just love collecting children's book. I just, something I really enjoy. So I kind of like set up this little I'm pregnant thing to surprise Darian when he came home, which he already thought I was pregnant because he was like, that stick doesn't lie. But I think he was kind of waiting for me to really come to terms with being pregnant. And initially I told him, I was like, I'm not gonna deem anything real until I see a doctor. I initially was gonna wait until that doctor's appointment to actually tell Darian so it was like solidified and a doctor actually said, yeah, you are pregnant, Don't, not just relying on a stick. But I think after my sister-in-law said, you know, your hormones mess with a lot of things, I think you're pregnant, I was like, shoot, I think she's right. And she was, so Kelsey, Love you, girl. So after I found out I was pregnant, I think a week later, I ended up going to the doctor's appointment. Finally, the initial doctor's appointment that I was supposed to get months ago, which is funny because now that I think about it, if I went way earlier, they would have told me earlier that I was pregnant, but I didn't find out till about six weeks that I was pregnant. That's a long time to not know you're pregnant. I had no idea, you guys. After I'd gone to the doctor, I did some blood work, I did a pee test, and she gave me a call, she's like, yeah, you are 100% pregnant. And she said I was between seven and nine weeks. That's how high my, I think it's HGG levels were. were. And I think that's your like pregnancy hormone. They were just sky high. So she thought I was way further along than I was. I was actually like five or six weeks when I went in and took the test or something. So after I had gotten that call, she was like, hey, go ahead and make your first OB appointment. So I went, I got my first OB appointment, and I gotta do a mini, mini ultrasound. Let me get the little pictures. So these are the ultras, the very first ultrasound pictures, you guys. Not much is happening in there, okay? But this was taken seven weeks and six days. So I was almost eight weeks when I got my first little ultrasound. That's how far along I was before like I knew everything was happening. And it's just crazy to me to think that all of this was happening and I just didn't know about it. But once I found out I was pregnant, I feel like everything made sense. So now I'm gonna move into kind of the signs and symptoms. So for signs and symptoms, I feel like in the movies they always make pregnancy like that. It's like the girl just wakes up and she's like, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant, oh my gosh, I just know I'm pregnant. Or the girl like wakes up and like runs to the toilet and just throws up and she's pregnant. Okay. None of that happened. I had this much idea that I was pregnant. Literally, I took a pregnancy test and I denied that I was pregnant for almost a whole week. And I have to say that pregnancy is just different for every single person. Like, no one's experiences are the exact same. I did not have nausea. I was not morning sick. I didn't throw up. Like, my first trimester went by a breeze. And I was super lean my first four weeks. Like, I was at the yoga and fitness retreat. I was almost three or four weeks pregnant during that. And that is when I was in my like best shape ever. Like my abs were so popping, like my hair was full, my face was popping, like everything was just working great. I felt amazing and I was like three or four weeks pregnant. I had no idea. I had like a little bit of bleeding, which I guess happens when like the embryo or the egg attaches to your uterus wall. You can have a little bit of bleeding. So I had a little bit of bleeding even during that fitness retreat. So I thought that that was my period and it was just super, super light for some reason. So I was like, okay, whatever. That's why I thought I had had, I had just had my period. There was no way I was pregnant. Well, little did I know that that was that special type of bleeding when you are pregnant. But it's just like crazy to think that that whole time I was pregnant. Honestly, like, Every day is different for pregnancy, especially during the first trimester. It was a roller coaster for sure. I was tired a lot and smells got to me. I kind of want to talk all about my first trimester in a separate video. I just want to kind of keep this focused on how I found out very first signs and symptoms, which I didn't pick up on any signs and symptoms at first. But once I did find out I was pregnant, I think things started to click in my brain. I'm like, oh, that's why I get kind of tired at three. That was really kind of the first initial one. And then the other sign and symptom was just my digestive system slowing down, which is a side effect of pregnancy. Like you either have a lot of diarrhea or you have, or you're constipated. I was always constipated, you guys. Like I just could not poop ever. And it is so frustrating. So those were kind of my first two 
signs and symptoms that I had. I did not link them to pregnancy. I had no idea. I thought I was just like crushing my workouts and I had a food sensitivity. No idea that my fatigue and digestion problems were related to pregnancy. So it was really fun when I found out. I thought it was awesome. I'm so, so excited that I was pregnant, you guys. And I think it couldn't have happened at a better time. My family was in town all the way from Germany when I found out I was pregnant. So I was able to tell them and it seriously was the best thing ever. Like I just could not be more happy. I think I was nine weeks when I told them um, I actually got this ultrasound on my birthday, April 3rd, and it was so hard not to tell my family that day because it was official, like something was inside of me growing, I actually like was pregnant, I got to see, you know, my baby for the first time, it was just crazy, and it was really hard not to tell anybody for that whole day on my birthday, but I wanted to wait until my dad came in town, so I waited another week, I was about nine weeks when I told them, and it was just like the best thing ever to actually like hug and hold my parents, you know, that raised me and knowing that I'm gonna have a little baby. I'm so excited, I'm getting emotional. I'm so, so blessed, you guys. I, like pregnancy is a scary thing because you just don't ever know what's gonna happen. And you know, you hope everybody has a healthy pregnancy and a healthy baby, so. Send all of your positive vibes my way. I hope that this pregnancy can go well. I'm excited to just talk to you more about my pregnancy experience, but also just provide you guys workouts and, and food, nutrition. A lot of the things that I'm gonna do, you can do pregnant or non-pregnant. So don't feel like this is gonna be like a solely pregnancy channel. I'm just kind of not about that life, but I am super excited and like I'm just so beyond grateful and blessed, especially like to God for allowing Darren and I to have a little baby. I'm so, so excited. Thank you for being patient with me while I haven't been as open with you. Please don't be mad at me. I just wanted to wait till I felt comfortable sharing with you guys that I was pregnant and sharing everything that's been going on. I plan to give you guys just huge, huge updates about what's been going on, how my training has been different, how's my nutrition been different, how have things just kind of stayed the same. I'm just like, ah, I'm so excited now. It's finally sunk in. Like, it took me a while, you guys, but I am so freaking excited. So that is it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this gave you some insight into what's really been going on. I plan to do a lot more updates because honestly, there is so much that I have to kind of catch you up on. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you loved it. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. You can follow me on Instagram for more workouts, meals, nutrition tips, pregnancy pictures. I don't really know. Whatever is going on Instagram, it's going on Instagram. Pow. So with that being said, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.